and we are super happy today to uh, to welcome you um, to discuss together how you can sell more using the new WhatsApp business tools and more uh, generally uh, in a general way um, what is conversational commerce and how it can help uh, to revolutionize uh, your business. So today um, we are super happy to have two um, uh, amazing guests with us. To Hey, thanks so much, Ben. I really appreciate the time. I uh, really appreciate you inviting us to the webinar. Um, um, again, really quickly, my name is Nord. I'm part of the product partnerships for WhatsApp, and I've been working really close with Ben and the team to, um, on this really exciting partnership, and we're super excited to support this, uh, this session today. I want to talk a little bit more about what WhatsApp business is all about, how it helps businesses today, and some of the opportunities that we see in the market, and then I'll hand over back to, to Ben and the team to talk a bit more about the, sort of the rest of the content that Ben just went through. So, if you're kind of thinking about sort of like at a macro level, right? When we think about business messaging, we already know that business messaging today really fundamentally helps drive stronger connections with, with people across the board, right? Where if you think about some of the metrics, we know that most adults today really prefer being able to message a business in the same way that they talk to a friend or, friend or a family member, where 57% 50, of people say that messaging with a business feels more personal than when picking up the phone and calling actually. Um, the reality is on the flip side is that that comes with a high expectation, right? Because we know that customers today have higher expectations for customer service than ever before, right? Where we know that 80% of people um, say that the experience that they have with the brand is more crucial um, as, their, as the actual product that they buy or that they sell from them. Um, the reality is also that 89% of people expect a response within 24 hours where we also know that 52% of respondents have switched brands if they've actually received a negative or poor customer experience. Um, so expectations are high across the board, where in reality, when we ask a business, businesses feel broadly pretty confident they're doing a, a good job, right? Where they're saying like seven out of 10 businesses feel that they're communicating effectively with their customers. Where in reality, we know that just two in 10 of those customers actually agree uh, once they engage with, um, with the business. Um, so across the board, as I mentioned, consumers prefer messaging over any other sort of more traditional ways of, of communicating with the business, right? Where people fundamentally don't want to get stuck on, on hold, right? When calling a business where we know that 61% of people choose messaging a business over picking up a phone. And uh, they fundamentally don't want to use email where they kind of just have to wait and pray for, for people to get back to them, right? Where again, messaging uh, is, is the preferred way of engaging with the business. And the reality is that when you take a step back, is people think about um, messaging and engaging with the business across different parts of the customer journey, right? People don't think about, hey, I'm talking to a sales team, a marketing team, or customer service team. People really think holistically about the questions that they've got and that they want to get answered, right? And we know across the board, whether it's about making a general inquiry, whether it's about purchasing a product, or whether it's about receiving customer service from a business, people really prefer messaging across the board over any sort of traditional way versus calls or emails of engaging a business. So what's in it for businesses, right? Why would you use WhatsApp uh, if you're a business? Why is, why is this the way that you wanna sort of like engage and prioritize the way that you talk to, to customers today? The answer is quite simple. There's three main reasons where WhatsApp is really sort of differentiating themselves when it comes to customer communication, right? So the first one is reach. Um, making it re like if you think about sort of the scale that WhatsApp is operating today is we've got over 2 billion active monthly users on the platform across 100 countries that are already sending over 100 million messages every single day on the platform across the board. We know that 70% of WhatsApp users in use the app on a daily basis. So when you engage with a person or uh, someone on WhatsApp, people will read and see their messages and engage with the people that they're, that they're talking with and that they're, in that they're connected with. And we also know that 175 million people on WhatsApp today already engage with a, a business account on WhatsApp every single day as well. So if you then think about sort of the ways to, why people prefer to message a business on WhatsApp, it's, there's kind of like a couple of different reasons, but the most important ones are that fundamentally WhatsApp helps build a better personal connection, right? Where we know that 64% of users have told us that they really prefer a more, that they that they feel that WhatsApp but helps develop a more personal connection with the business as opposed to other traditional channels. We also know that WhatsApp helps to build more confidence, right? Where we know that 65% of people are more confident messaging a business versus sending an email to them and again having to wait for people to get back to them. 
And we also know that WhatsApp is really a very simple way to communicate with a business, right? As opposed to like some of the more traditional methods. But the most important one is fundamentally help, WhatsApp helps build greater trust, right? Where we know that 71% of people feel more confident about messaging a business on WhatsApp as opposed to any other channel. And then if you think about a little bit more about why customers care about WhatsApp, right? So we know for businesses there's huge opportunities, but if you think about it from a customer perspective, like why are customers interested um, using WhatsApp as a main way? There's kind of like four key reasons as well, right? And most of you probably today, like depending on where you are, will already use WhatsApp as a main way to engage uh, with customers today. But sort of the four key reasons for why people really prefer uh, connecting with a business is first of all, it's one-to-one. -one. So people, like, like for our email, WhatsApp is really like an, a real great way for, for you to connect one-to-one -one with the business in the same way of, again, using phone or email, but without having to pick up a phone or without having to scroll through an inbox. We also know, obviously, WhatsApp is fundamentally conversational, right? So like making a phone call or um, uh, like, like making a phone call, WhatsApp creates real true-way conversations with customer-centric, um, with a customer-centric perspective, but without actually having to wait uh, on a call or without having to wait on hold music. And it's asynchronous, right? So again, um, messaging allows for immediate interactive responses, but also, right, if you think about it, you can message your business in the morning when you drive to work, and then once you arrive, you can continue that conversation, right? So you can respond as a user whenever you want, whenever you're ready, and it's sort of on your schedule. But for me personally, the most important one is, as I mentioned sort of for some of the men numbers earlier, people already use WhatsApp today to talk to their closest friends and family, right? People already talk to uh, people on WhatsApp every single day with their closest connections. And this is just another really simple way for people to connect with a business, to receive the service and the questions that they've got for, for those businesses. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about how it actually works, right? Because um, there's obviously different ways that people can engage with uh, with business on WhatsApp as a channel. And obviously we've been working really closely with ChatLab to make sure that as a business, you're able to receive the best possible uh, service as possible, right? And I think it all starts with making it super easy for people to find you once you're on WhatsApp, right? So one thing is obviously making sure that you've got a phone number and that you're on WhatsApp as a platform. The other piece is about making it really easy for people to find you, right? So we've seen a lot of different tactics work very well, uh, but across the board, here's a few ideas, but I also know that the team at ChatLab has a lot of experience helping you roll out of an effective way to get discovered on WhatsApp. Um, so across the board, right? So one of the things that we've seen work really well is for example, IVR, right? Making it easy for when people are calling you as a business, deflecting people into WhatsApp as a channel, to make it easy for them to continue that conversation on WhatsApp and again, have that asynchronous conversation, right? So not having to wait on hold, but making sure that they can start that conversation. Another way that we've seen work really well, and I know that uh, ChatLab is working on this quite closely, is using QR codes, right? Where the, the possibilities are pretty much endless, right? We've seen people use QR codes in TV commercials, in brochures, in uh, on websites, right? Or even like within a physical store, right? There's so many ways for people to start a conversation on WhatsApp and really have a seamless experience once you start to engage with, with you as a business. Um, another simple way is using WhatsApp on your website, right? On the contact us pages, on product pages, making it super easy for when you're on your phone and looking at a product, uh, making it easy for people to start that conversation. Um, the other ways obviously are uh, using Facebook, Insta Facebook and Instagram apps, right? Ads making it easy for when you're selling or uh, positioning a product to immediately start that conversation on WhatsApp. As well as we've seen early success on people using Facebook and Instagram stories to really uh, start that conversation with you on WhatsApp as a channel. Then once people start that conversation, there's really sort of two key ways that you can engage and talk to, to, a, to a customer, right? Like the first one is user initiated messages. So when people start talking to you as a business, um, you can engage in that two-way conversation, right? Where I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this on the next slide, but there's a lot of different ways that you can provide customer service. You can share uh, details about products and longer term, we're gonna make it even easier for people to shop on WhatsApp as a platform as well. On the other side, there's also a way for you as a business to start a conversation, right? Uh, where we fundamentally have our uh, notification product where people can get updated on uh, things like shopping notifications or think things about like um, product updates as well as uh, more marketing related content, right? Where you can create personalized offers on WhatsApp directly. And again, using the channel that people use on a day-to-day -day basis to engage with friends and family. 
So recently this year, we've been making a lot of additional enhancements into our product to make it even easier and simple for people to engage with the business, right? So uh, we've now also rolled out things like buttons and list messages to make it a cleaner, more professional experience when you engage with the business and making it again, even simpler without people having to write anything back. They can simply hit a button directly within the WhatsApp conversation to really drive that conversation with you. In addition to that, as I quickly mentioned on the previous slide, we are now also allowing more marketing related content on WhatsApp as a channel, right? Where previously we only allowed more transactional type content for, for example, uh, shipping notifications. We now also allow specific marketing related content uh, that is valuable and interested to the user, right? Where we contain a amount of quality in the background, but in reality, it's gonna open up a lot more possibilities for businesses, uh, for, for your customers to hear from you uh, on their favorite channel. And the reality is that we've got a lot more coming very, very soon that we're super excited about. We're working super closely on this with the, chat, the team at ChatLab, where um, we're going to make it fundamentally really easy for people to take all of this experience one step further, right? Making it easy for people to shop on WhatsApp as a platform, being able to select one or multiple products, add them into a cart, and then fundamentally being able to purchase and pay uh, those products on WhatsApp, right? So when you kind of think back about this slide that I shared earlier, where you've got different parts of the customer journey, uh, this is going to be a really important component of this to make it easy for people to receive to look for a product, purchase a product, but then also receive that after service and customer support uh, right at the very end. So we're super excited about where we're headed. We're super excited about some of the capabilities that we're coming up soon and that we've already got on the platform. And with that being said, I'm going to hand it over back to the team uh, to talk a little bit more about uh, the other part of the presentation. Thanks, everybody. Things and I'll say this question like, what makes your business successful? And when you ask uh, that question to, um, to your customer, um, basically, uh, there are a few things that, that come up. Obviously, the first part, uh, the first most important aspect is great the product offer. Your customer will come to buy your product and come back with this great product offer. But the second two uh, most important uh, aspects uh, that comes after are customer service and smooth uh, purchase experience. They are very close to the great product offering and they are really like way ahead of any other reason for uh, anybody to come back and to, to, to buy from, uh, from, from, your, from your business. Those three main aspects are triggering the two key um, for um, your business to be successful on the long term is to create loyalty among your customers and that loyalty will trigger in return the word of mouth that will help you to attract more customers. Obviously, for a lot of um, businesses, you don't have like millions of dollars to invest in marketing. Uh, you don't have uh, crazy amounts uh, to spend here and there. The two most important aspects for you are to trigger loyalty and word of mouth. And this comes with obviously your great product, but the ability to, uh, to provide an amazing customer service and a smooth purchase experience to your customers. And in fact, I am not um, telling you anything new here. For a lot of you, you already know that very well because this is what you are already doing in the physical life, in your stores, in your shop. You obviously uh, make it easy and nice to enter into your shops and to, uh, to, to make it available for purchase and, and to purchase your great items. And you also care a lot about the service and the experience within your stores uh, with all your staff that um, are here to welcome and to advise your guests. You know that this is very important and that's why when you look at conversion rates, the conversion rates in store in physical life are the best that you can imagine. Normally for a classic retail store, it, it, will, it will be around 30%. So out of 100 people who come into your store, you will have 30 that are going to buy your product. And depending on the type of industries, if we are talking about uh, restaurants, for instance, uh, this can go up to 70%. This is uh, the best conversion rate that, that you can have. And definitely great product is one important aspect, but the ability that you make the atmosphere and the ability to purchase nice and that you match this with customer service is very important. Now, what about online? It's fair to say that for a long time, your online presence for a lot of uh, local businesses looked a lot like that. Um, you would invest into building a nice storefront. You would um, pay, like, for example, agency to make like nice customer uh, product or 
pictures of your products on your Instagram, you invest time and effort uh, to bring people in front of these storefronts, but there will be always two very key important elements missing. So first is a door to enter into your store. Uh, most of the time, for a lot of, a lot of time, it was not possible from your online presence to enter into your store and to buy your purchase. And the second element is all the service, all your staff, all the people that you have within your business that are here to help me as a consumer and help me as a customer to answer my questions and to have a great uh, sense. In other term, it would look like that. So I'm sorry in advance if Cake and Co is with us today. Uh, if you are, uh, definitely we need to talk. But in, a, in, a, in, in some instances, it would look like that. Just uh, a very nice Instagram page, but not ability to purchase easily your product or to see what uh, to enter into your stores. And obviously not the ability to uh, to get in touch with your team and to and, and, and to uh, and to connect. Since that said, I've changed uh, over the last few years. For a lot of you, um, you you have really decided to uh, uh, take on this online change and to open your own stores to open your the ability for you to uh, to take and to let your customers order directly from you. We have seen that uh, with with uh, with ChatLab and ChatFood over the last 18 months with the ability to onboard more than 6,000 merchants um, using our e-commerce tools to start to open the door. Uh, whether it's on the food side, on the beauty side, on the retail side, you have been so many to to uh, to come up uh, on board and open the door of your uh, online uh, online stores. Uh, one thing also that we're very successful is that thanks to the integration that we have been able to build with the Facebook and Instagram team, a lot of you also have opened the door to their social media. So now, for many of you, when I enter into your, uh, when I see your response on your Instagram page or on your Facebook page, you can now very easily uh, see your products and purchase. Uh, you can tag uh, items on the pictures. You can build your Instagram shop. You can even add stickers uh, on, on all the stories. So. You are definitely opening the door, and that's that's great to see. And the results coming from there are, are absolutely amazing. Um, in in the last eighteen months, all those businesses together have been able to drive more than almost hundred million dollars of sales uh, from their customers and from the ability to open the door. Now, if you look at the online conversions of all those uh, online stores, they are still pretty low versus the conversion that you have um, in your physical stores. A, a, a classic online conversion will be around 3 to 5%. So out of 100 people visiting your online stores, you will get 3 to 5 that are going to place an order. We are far from the 30 to 70 from the physical uh, life. Sometimes um, in your um, uh, in your online stores, it can feel a bit like that. So I enter into the store, but there is nobody here to help me. I might have questions, I want to follow up on some aspects, and I, I am alone. Yeah. Um, and even worse, in some cases, there are a few people that I'm asking questions and I don't get an answer. Um, you know that, and you have understood that for uh, uh, some of you, and that's why we start to see over like the last uh, 18 months or so, like, a lot of you who give a way, an easy way for your customers to ask you questions, to get in touch with you directly. Uh, you can see the example of those two businesses. Uh, they have put their WhatsApp link on their bio, on their Instagram, because they understand that it's great to have an online store. It's great to uh, make it easy for people to purchase a product. But with the ability to get in touch, to contact you directly as a business, it's even better. So a lot of you have started to do that already. And a lot of you have also used um, um, the opportunity to make it easy that we offer us as a chat lab and, and chat food for your businesses, to make it easy for your customers to, to get in touch with you, whether by phone or directly through WhatsApp. Whether at the moment of the purchase, when I'm looking at the product, I can ask you a question, or after I have placed my, uh, my, uh, my order and I've placed my purchase, to be able to get an update uh, or to ask you a question if I need. That's great, but it comes with a set of challenge. To open the door um, to your customer, also to message you and to contact you, 
uh, for you as a business, it's hard to manage. Um, if you start to receive message from WhatsApp, from Instagram, uh, phone calls, um, if you start to have people who ask updates about another, uh, if you need to accept uh, payments and accept orders from uh, those contacts and those messages that you get from your customers, it can be hard to manage. We know very well that as business owners, you are doing hundreds of things at the same time every day, and you cannot um, uh, like be on top of everything. You need, you need help for that. The one thing that you don't want is to be in a position where you, you let people get in touch with you easily, you let them message you, but you are not answering properly and you are not answering fast. We see that this is one of the challenge of, um, of you as a business. We did a survey um, among like 250 top businesses in, in, in the regions. 80, we asked them like, questions, 80% um, didn't answer to the question that we asked them either on uh, Messenger or WhatsApp or on their Instagram. And the average time, time to answer was two hours and 32 minutes for the ones who did answer. Uh, definitely, it's an experience that you, that you don't want to, uh, to give. You, you understand that it's important to give an easy way for your customers to get in touch with you. But it's very important that you offer them this customer service, this customer experience that will, that will delight them. This is why you need technology and you need tools to help you uh, to get closer to your customers. I, I believe right now you understand that it's important to have your online store, to open the door, to give them easy way to get in touch with you. Now you need tools that helps you to uh, manage all these conversations, manage all those uh, contacts with your customers online uh, in an easy way. The same way that you will never accept to get um, in your stores uh, no staff or nobody to welcome and to answer your guests. It's really important that when you do that online, you also have uh, the tools and the resources to help you to do that properly. And this is where a company like uh, Chatfood comes in and through the partnership that we can build um, with, um, with NAD and his team and the WebSat team, we are super happy to be able to build a team to help you to empower uh, those scenarios and to help you to connect better with your customers. So what we are announcing today and what we are introducing today is uh, the latest release in the, in the ChatLab and Chatfood family is a commerce inbox. So basically, it's the ability to have one place where you can centralize all your communication with your customers, have all your WhatsApp message, have all your Instagram message, have all your um, Facebook message into one dashboard uh, that is easily uh, uh, accessible and that you can centralize in, in one place. But one dashboard, it's not that only. It's one dashboard that helps you to answer better and to have more um, insights about your customers. When people message you, let's say on your uh, WhatsApp, um, now on your phone, you don't know really if it's an existing customer, if it's a, a new customer, does he have a, actually an order that is live with you at the moment? You need to have all those informations to be able to answer in the, in the right way. This is what the commerce inbox will, will help you have. Uh, one place where you can manage all your conversations, have all the insights about your customers, about their past orders, their current orders, so that your team and you can, can answer easily. The third part that's very important is that obviously you, you will be able to have help from the, from, uh, from the technology to automate some of the most basic answers. The last thing that you want is to spend your day answering always the same questions. Again, technology here can help you to automate some of the, of, the, of the main answer to guide your customers to do what they want to do um, on, on those uh, messaging apps and, and, and with your business. Another thing that's very important that's going to help you is one place to also collect payments. As you open uh, those channels of communication with your customers, some will ask for uh, obviously purchase your items. You don't want to get, have this process manually. The ability for you to immediately and easily like send products, links, payment links to your customers so that they can purchase directly within the app that they use is, is going to be a, a huge help also for you to, uh, to be able to run your business and sell more um, uh, together. It's also one place, this commerce inbox, to update your customers um, uh, about the status of their order. We know that a lot of the requests that your customers um, have is 
to have an update about the status of the status of their orders. Here, you will have the ability to automate some of those shipping updates to let them know directly inside WhatsApp that they where is their order, if it's on the way, the ability for them to track. So again, to reduce uh, all this customer service and delight uh, your customers with automated updates. So Commerce Inbox is also one place for you to easily uh, control uh, the communication with your customers when something goes wrong. It happens with every business. No, nothing is perfect. What's really important for you as a business is that when something is not good, you can take action easily and you can correct that in a private way with your customers. Same, uh, that commerce inbox will help you to very easily all your staff access your message of your customers. If something is not right, to be able to take action immediately. So for instance, create a custom discount and send it immediately to your customers. The last part is also one of the luck about uh, having this digital and this online space is everything related to the marketing. So obviously in the physical, in the physical life, um, it's great to be able to open the door and welcome your customers and offer them a great customer experience, but it is almost impossible to keep in touch after they have left your store. What the online world and especially WhatsApp is enabling you now is to keep that communication and to keep that connection with your customers even after they have left your store. One example here is if you have some customers that have loyalty points with you that they have been able to acquire through a different purchase and they didn't use them and those points are going to expire, you can send automatic reminders to, to, to keep that connection with them. And this is just one use case among so many use cases that you can use within that commerce inbox to keep the connection with your customers after they have left your online store. Obviously, reminders are important. You can also send relevant templates for your customers who are happy to receive them. So the ones who tell you that they want to get, for instance, offers from you or updates about your new products, you will be able also to send them um, those messages directly inside WhatsApp to keep that connection uh, that connection with them. And then the last part, as Nardo mentioned during this, part, is to be able to connect also in store. Uh, one of the key um, aspects uh, of, of this online um, new wave that you can, uh, you can enable is the ability to have an omni-channel, uh, to have a 360 um, points and connection and relationship with your customers. So as we said just before, for a lot of time, when your customers would come into your stores, you had no real way to connect with them and to engage with them after they have left your store. That commerce inbox and those WhatsApp um, new business tools now give you the opportunity to do that. You can put QR codes on your bags in your stores to get your customers to either join your loyalty programs or to claim an offer for you and bring that onto WhatsApp to create that connection. It's probably the smoothest onboarding that you can ever imagine because they don't have to type any numbers, they don't have to type anything. They just have to scan a code and establish a connection on WhatsApp. And here you are good to go. You can start to communicate with them and, 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 and keep that connection with them. So in a nutshell, if we try to, uh, to summarize it, um, we discussed before that what really uh, uh, make the in-store experience and what really make uh, people like buy more when they come in your stores is this human factor and this personalization that you can do when you are talking to them. On the other side, what the online e-commerce wave has enabled you is to obviously offer a very a high level of convenience for your customers to be able to purchase your product wherever they are. Also, obviously, has created a, an advantage of speed I don't have to move to uh, go to somewhere to buy a product. I can, I can buy them and get them delivered to me uh, within one or two hours. And it has enabled you to access like a lot of data so to keep that connection with your customers and to improve your marketing. What this new wave of um, technology powered by WhatsApp and powered by a company like us helps you to do is to bring those two worlds together and, and to really like have the ability to get the best of the two worlds. And this is what is called conversational commerce. 
the ability to take the personalization and the human factor from your in-store, and the advantage of convenience, speed, and data-driven marketing from the online, and bring them together into one experience for your customers that will delight them and make them purchase more. So over the last uh, few weeks, we have launched a lot of uh, pilots among some of our best partners to have them like experience this commerce inbox and this ability to sell and connect with their customers at the same time. Um, and the feedback that we have received are absolutely uh, fantastic. First, for some brands, it really opened the eyes for them on what are the issues that they have with their customers, what are their customers telling about their experience and to be able to correct that. Um, Pinza, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, has been able to really like pinpoint some of the key aspects that uh, in their operations were lacking and improve that dramatically thanks to this ability to get in, in contact with their customers and to learn from them. On the other side, um, a group, a large group like Landmark uh, has been able to really like improve dramatically their customer experience. Uh, they used to receive already a lot of messages from their customer on WhatsApp, asking for promotions, asking for updates about their order, and they were forced to manage that with just one person sitting behind the phone. Now they can uh, remove that friction of one person and offer that to all the uh, customer service team that can manage at once all those messaging and in, in a much more organized way. This has really helped them to improve dramatically the experience that they can do. So we will really be uh, extremely delighted for all of you to start to jump on that uh, wave of uh, conversational commerce. And we really believe it can add a lot of value uh, to, your, uh, to all of your business. So um, we, we wanted to do something special with, uh, uh, with, with the WhatsApp team and with, uh, with the chat lab and chat food team uh, to make sure that this is a no brainer for you to, uh, to come and, and test this, uh, this new commerce inbox. So, until the end of December, we are basically um, um, September, sorry, not December. Uh, we are basically offering for our first 1,000 merchants uh, who onboard on it uh, the ability to onboard for free on all the WhatsApp um, uh, business tools uh, that we that we discussed uh, previously. The ability to send your first 10,000 message to your customers for free, not to pay anything. So to update your customers, to send them reminders. To to trigger those, those communications uh, from your business to your customers for free. Obviously, one important part here is that uh, if a, a communication is triggered by your customers to you, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. The only moment where you would have to pay something uh, as, um, per as the policies of, of uh, WhatsApp is that when you want to initiate yourself a message to your customers. So, if uh, uh, your customer message you is free and you have 24 hours to answer to them and you can do it uh, for free. But after that 24 hours, if you want to send back a message to your customers, you will need to, uh, to, to, to pay something. The first 10,000 message as part of the offer are free. So you can send as many as you want during those 10,000 and you don't have to pay anything. The, the, the third point is obviously all the maintenance of the system for free for one year and the commitment on our side to offer you premium support to really help you to leverage the best uh, of, that, uh, of that offer. How you get started, um, if you are an existing customer, as we speak, you can just go on your chat food or chat lab, chat lab dashboard and you will see a small pop-up called Inbox. Um, you can click on that, uh, on that uh, box and start to, um, to activate your commerce inbox and onboard yourself uh, on, on the WhatsApp uh, API tools connect your Instagram inbox and start to manage all your messages in one place. If you are not yet uh, a Chatfood or ChatLab customer, you can just go to uh, our, any of our websites, Chatfood or ChatLab, and sign up um, directly from there. You get 30 days free trial. You can test all the service, all the product for free, and then decide if it makes sense for you uh, as a business after that. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I'd like to start by saying, um, you know, I've been uh, with Ch Chat Food Partners with Chat Food uh, since early 2020, and I consider them one of my key um, success factors uh, in, in what we're trying to do. 
And I remember the very first time I um, got on one of those webcasts, the title of that webcast was five steps to increase your sales by five times. I was like, that's a bold claim. I'm going to go and see, see how, 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 how is that done? And uh, Raz at the time showed five steps and, you know, I, I followed those five steps and I did it end up achieving five X in, 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 um, in the six months period. So I was very happy about that. Um, and it became very important for me to be always on those um, uh, webcasts and learn uh, about the new features. So we are a bakery, um, you know, we started, the brand started in uh, 20, 2010. My wife is the pastry chef. I help her by eating her pastry products. Uh, and um, we saw a gap in the market in the specialty, um, in the specialty cakes and the dessert market. And we wanted to tackle uh, that gap. When the pandemic uh, hit, um, we had to, we accelerated our growth online and, and Chef Food played a critical part by taking us by taking us online in a matter of days. It was one of the quickest and smoothest uh, uh, experiences that I've had. And we've been doing really well, uh, thank God. And um, as I said, I, I, I followed a lot of uh, Raz's advice and our demand has increased and we started opening more outlets and, and increasing our delivery uh, coverage. And then new problems, which is good problems, I call them, but new problems came in how we communicate with our customers. Because we started having a lot more um, customer chats and we are, you know, our customers chat with us on Facebook, on Instagram, and a lot on WhatsApp. And the majority is, I would say, I agree with the Nard's um, uh, segmentation, you know, whether it's inquiry, buying, or, um, or follow-up. Uh, and I started feeling, or not feeling, I started measuring that we're, 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 we're missing on a lot of customer uh, inquiries um, um, for multiple reasons. Number one is the access scale. You know, when, when you have WhatsApp, you know, you're, you're restricted to one device, on a maximum, uh, the online one. Um, uh, I wasn't because of the because we have restriction into uh, the devices, the amount of people that can work at a time. We we started missing or be having late responses to uh, customers, which really uh, affects um, the experience. And most importantly, I didn't have. I felt like I lost touch of how to measure customer. And um, what what is it that they wanted? What what is their feedback? and interact with them. And um, I felt like that was really uh, hurting uh, the brand and I, and I wanted to uh, fix that. And um, I was looking for a lot of ways. I was trying to fix it by directing all of them to one channel, like, you know, either you have an automated response in IG or Facebook, like talk us to WhatsApp or vice versa, but, um, or just putting the link, you just go straight to uh, our chat food menu. But customers really wanna chat they really want to understand and have that personal uh, uh, connection so um, I remember when I first when I first got a hint of this and 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 and, and rest said about it I had a eureka moment I'm like that's how I'm gonna save my problems because I was uh, I was trying to segment my problems and fix them one by one and and when I saw this I felt like it solved all my problems in one place I'll have all you know it, it gave us a platform to um, centralize all the messages. So I have my WhatsApp, IG, and, and Facebook in, in, in one place. Uh, and it's very um, easy and intuitive to uh, to use, which made us really decrease significantly um, a portion of missed messages. Because now we we have more staff, more eyes on, on the messages that we're getting. And I've set up a, a target to my staff. Hopefully we'll be reaching it that we need to respond within five minutes of, of uh, messages. And um, other tools that saved a lot of time, a lot of the messages are for inquiry. They're inquiring about products. So we'd have a separate window open with the menu and whenever they ask about a product, we'd go look, at, look that up, copy paste it and paste it back. And just example, this morning, a customer asked me like, which cakes do you have in medium? I, just, I, was, I woke up home, I was the first one who saw that message. So I just went, clicked the link just type medium and center all our medium products. And it, it took seconds and where, where without that, I would have been 
copy pasting and looking into individual products. So um, productivity went up because we can respond to the inquiry uh, much faster. Uh, so which gives us uh, more bandwidth. So that was um, that was really uh, that was really good. And I think if we can go to the uh, following slide, uh, Ben, um, monitoring and I've, I've resolved my final problem with monitoring the co communications because of the restrictions on, especially on WhatsApp, that was a big problem because of it had to be on the device or uh, the WhatsApp uh, web. Um, I wasn't able to connect and see what are the customers inquiring uh, how are we responding? What kind of tone? What kind of messaging that we're giving? And the past period opened my eyes a lot. I agree with that one comment that it was very eye-opening. Uh, now I'm having a lot more conversations with my staff. Now that I see, I can monitor and I can see how they respond. And I'm just thinking, okay, I, I saw this. This is how we're going to be responding. Uh, this is how we should be respond so we can be more uh, effective. And um, finally, one of a problem that I was trying to, I, I didn't mention about productivity is that when a customer reached out to us to follow up on an order, we spent a lot of time just try, you know, matching between that customer and that order. So we'd ask, what's your order number? And they give it to us, we'll, we'll match it with um, another uh, tool. We will go to a chat food and, and, and get the order. Uh, but now, once they message, you can see all of the profile, all of the information uh, right there. So again, the response time and and, and how effectively we can uh, talk to our customers uh, have improved um, a lot. So um, I, I, I instantly saw a lot of uh, value. I remember, I still remember when I first heard about the tool and I had, I had a bulb Eureka moment and I knew instantly that this can solve um, the problems um, that, that I was having. And I look forward for additional in, 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 in enhancements. I'm, I'm looking forward to see uh, this product uh, being improved. And I do see it as a critical part in, in how we interact with customers. Thanks a lot, uh, Nabi, for uh, this testimonial. Uh, it's super nice to see uh, how you are using it and how it, it benefits your business. Um, thanks now for on, on, on behalf of the WhatsApp team to, to develop and to open your platform to, to let uh, the kind of scenarios and help like, all those businesses to, to manage better their the communication with their customers. Uh, I think you can see as a real example how it can help and impact uh, businesses such, such as Sweet Indulgence uh, to build better business, so it's super exciting to uh, to see uh, all the potential of that. So really uh, super happy to, to keep developing and, 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 and working together to, to that. So thank you so much for joining us. Nabi, thank you so much also to uh, to join and to share all your insights and feedback and with everyone uh, today. I think we are reaching the end of that uh, webinar. Um, thank you very much, everyone who joined. Uh, Again, thank you to Nord and Nabi to, uh, to share all those super nice insights. Um, for the ones who are interested and, and who want to uh, come on board to, uh, to improve the customer uh, experience and, and, uh, and satisfaction of, uh, of their business, uh, feel free to go to ChatLab or ChatFood and, and sign up today. And for all of you who are already uh, our partners, uh, go to our, your dashboard, ask our team, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be glad to help you uh, to uh, take the wave of that conversational commerce and help you to sell more with, uh, with those tools. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day ahead, and um, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.